Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D Space tutorial and what we're going to do in this tutorial is make a basic missile system for our character so at first all it's going to do is drop a missile and fire it forwards and then at next tutorial we're going to make it so when we've clicked on a target it'll fly towards them like a heat seeking missile so it'll be really cool so the first thing I'm going to do is zoom into our character and go to the side and all I'm going to use for our missile is a simple um, cylinder yeah just like that that's all I'm going to use for our missile. Obviously it's going to be smaller and everything. So we can't obviously use that because when we spawn it with Quaterna it will turn it back to normal. So the easiest way to fix it is to stick a game object on top of it and just make it a parent of it. So we'll call this missile or missile and then we'll stick capsule, capsule inside it or cylinder and make it so it's zero, zero, 0 perfect. So we can drag it down like so and we'll just reposition it using the cylinder. So we'll say scale wise 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Not bad, I think I'll play with it like this for a bit. Yeah, what's that look like? Yeah, that'll do. There's our basic missile. So we have to obviously have to move the capsule collider and stick it on the parent, else it won't work properly. So, in fact, I'm going to use a box collider because it'll just work better. Size, and height. Perfect, so that'll do for my missile. What I'm also going to do is just stick some of our smoke particles in it just to make it look like it's a proper missile. So I'm going to go prefabs, which are resources. Um, I'm going to find fireball bullet. I'm going to grab the smoke particles, take it out, delete fireball, and stick particles in missile. That simple. So 000, zero, zero and I'll just move it across. Just like that. So when it flies, it should go and boom, fly. Perfect. So what we're going to do is go onto our enemies just for a minute, and we'll use the space enemy AI. Yep. And we have to find where it says on trigger enter or something. So we zoom in. We can zoom down, and we'll find on collision stay. So it looks like it's this one here. So on collider that one. So then we can do that. But so what we can do up here is what we'll copy this and we'll put and signs after it and paste call at game object that name and then now we'll put missile. So if call dot name equals fireball or missile, then it'll damage on blah blah blah, play all this, do all that as well. And then it'll come down here and what we're actually gonna do is put it again and you'll see the reason why in a minute. So down here below the destroy, in fact we'll put the destroy below this there, we'll type if call dot game object dot name equals missile clone here and this is just temporary we'll fix this eventually so if it equals missile clone then we're going to take the enemy life so we can get rid of that and that so enemy life minus equals 20 so it's a powerful missile then we'll just put else enemy life minus equals 1 that simple then it'll destroy either one so that should work basically, but we need to match to make it fire now. So what we're going to do is stick it onto a prefab. So we'll get missile and we'll just drag it into weapons. Boom. So we have missile. As you can see, it works. And when we drag it, the flares will fire with it, like so. So we'll go to our character and we'll find player fire, space fire here. So we need to make a new prefab for the bullet. So, well, new variable. So here we'll type var missile bullet and we'll put transform. So it'll fire that, works perfect. Bullet spawn points, I actually wanted to have a third one. So we're going to name it three and we're going to put one below it. So it doesn't fire in front of the character, it fires below it and it'll look much cooler. So character, ship, spawn point. So looks like we already have one, look at that. So we just stick it roughly here. I'll stick it towards back so when it starts taking off you'll the flame should already be, be there and it'll be really cool. So we'll call this, uh, we'll rename it bullet weapon spawn points but we'll just call it missile because then it just makes more sense. So we can go to character and here we'll bullet spawn points 3. And obviously we don't want fireball on there, so what we can do is put missile spawn points there. We'll go up and get the missile. 
and I'll stick that on missile bullet. So that's it, all what's left is to fire it. So I've got the basic one, fire with the mouse, and I'll just go with weapon number three, because that'll make more sense. Yep, so I'll paste it here. Three, we don't need a VAR anymore, a fo for loop, I apologise. We haven't got no sound, so we're going to get rid of that. And I'm going to make it go even faster than normal. Or should I make it slower? I think I'll make it go slower. So it like, I don't know, yeah, it just goes slower. <laughs> so, bullet double fire, we'll now call it missile, bullet missile, that'll do. Yep. So there it is, it'll fire the missile. Bullet, perfect. Bullet spawn point is number three. I believe it's two, actually. Because it starts at zero, remember? Then it comes down, fireball skills will not increase. And player overheating, five. So it bumps it up even more. Last thing is to change weapons. And it's that easy. So a couple of places you've got to jump to. But once you've done it, you have a missile. So we can go back and we can try it. And we should see it go. And it should go boom. It won't explode yet. We'll do that in another time. But it should look cool. So we'll find it, someone in there. We'll press 3 and fire. There is no rigid body attached to our missile. So it's saying that simply because we, well, yeah, we don't have a rigid body, but it's trying to add force to the rigid body. So I'll turn gravity off as well, and we'll try again. So we look round for someone. In, press 3, boom. Oh dear. So as you see, it hit our spaceship when it fired. So obviously I can't shoot with that because it's like bumping everywhere. So I'm going to drag the missile spawn point down a bit. Just so it's lower. So I'll find where it is. Three. There we go. That seems to work a lot better. Boom. Let's see if we get him. Obviously that's going to have to take some adjusting to fight at centre of screen and everything. But that seems to work. We've got a basic missile system. Obviously when we fire it, we're going to click on them and it'll aim towards them. So we'll have a target heat seeking missile. But that's all we're going to do for this tutorial. Really quick and simple. Basic missile. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.